Uh, Wilder Penfield, this, uh, uh, one of the pioneering neurosurgeons, said the most important question in neuroscience is does the brain explain the mind uh, completely? Uh, and I believe that it did, but uh, he changed his mind on that over his 40-year career, and I changed mine too. I have a young lady who was missing probably two-thirds two of, of her brain from, uh, from birth, and she's a completely normal person. Uh, I have a number of other patients who have similar kinds of situations, and it's well known in neurology and neurosurgery that there are patients out there who have very deficient brains who really have normal minds. Uh, that's not always the case, but it happens enough that it makes us question this uh, relationship. Uh, what really got me to thinking about this in a deep way is I was performing awake brain surgery on a woman who had a left frontal lobe brain tumor many years ago. And we give local anesthesia, so there's no pain. And I had to map the surface of, of, of her brain to protect the part of her brain that controls her speech while I was taking the tumor out. The tumor had infiltrated major parts of her left frontal lobe, so I had to take out a significant part of the left frontal lobe of her brain. And we were having a casual conversation as I was doing it. Uh, she was under the surgical drapes. We were talking about the weather. We were talking about her family, talking about the uh, food in the hospital cafeteria. And that got me to thinking, uh, my textbooks never explained that. My textbooks never explained how it is that you can take out major parts of the frontal lobe of the brain, which are supposed to be responsible for abstract thought and things like that, and have a patient be perfectly normal through the entire, entire procedure and normal afterward.